Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss back again with another video and today we're going to do a quick unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy View. Now, if you've never seen this before, this is an 18-inch media streaming tablet. Alright, so this is a big beast right here. Now, before we unbox it, let's go through the main specs that you need to know first. Now, the Galaxy View is available in three different models. You got a 32 gig Wi-Fi only version, you got a 64 gig Wi-Fi only version, and you got a 64 gig cellular version. Right now, they only have one available. That's the 32 gig Wi-Fi only version, and that one's going to run you $599. So you're looking at a little over $600 after taxes. Now, as far as the display, you got an 18.4 inch 1080p full HD display with a resolution of 1920 by 1080. Now, that's 120 for the PPI Patrol. Now, with the processor, you're getting the Exynos 7580 octa-core processor, which is clocked in at 1.6 gigahertz. Now, for storage, like I said, this is the 32 gig version, but you also have a micro SD card slot for expandable memory, and this one comes with 2 gigs of RAM on board. Now, you also do get a front-facing camera, which is 2.1 megapixels, and it shoots video at 1920 by 1080. Now, the battery on this, 5,700 milliamps. So Samsung claims that you could get eight hours of straight video playback. And that's the most important part about this tablet, video playback. Now the weight on this is a little bit over five pounds. You get stereo speakers and it's running Android 5.1 Lollipop. All right, so let's unbox this real quick. Now shout out to my man Faye. He just left a comment on my Shark Boombox video. He said my little unboxing knife is too small. When I unbox this, I gotta get something a little bit bigger. He said, why don't you unbox it with a samurai sword? So, Faye, challenge accepted. All right, so I got the Samurai Sword on deck. Let's see if we can unbox this with a Samurai Sword and not cut our fingers off. Rah! Ah. Ah. Okay. <laughs> okay, I almost killed my cat, y'all. All right. All right, so this is a big, giant box. Let's open it up and see what you get inside. Okay. Okay, so here's your plug. Now, one thing about this is you can't charge this using a micro USB charging cable. You're gonna have to use this proprietary plug. Okay. Let's slide this out of here. Okay, not too much inside the box. Basically just the plug and the tablet. Okay, so here's what it is. Now I'm out. I'm I'm from behind the camera, so I can't see. I hope y'all can see this, but let's see. Let's look around real quick. So underneath, you got your stereo speakers. You got a little slot right here. Let's see if we can open this up. Okay, little slot right here. This is where you're gonna stick your micro USB charge. Uh, yeah, this is where you're gonna stick your SD card at. Your micro SD card, and there's a spot if you get the cellular version. That's the spot where you're gonna drop your SIM card in. Okay, now the back of this has a stand, built-in stand, so either when you're laying it flat, you can stand it like this, or you can just stand it up like this. Let's see, on the top, you got your power button, volume up and down, you got two mics, there goes one mic right there, and another mic right there. Here's your 2.1 megapixel camera in the front, let's get this plastic out of here. This thing looks beautiful though, beautiful. Let's see, on one side, here goes some ports. Now this is a micro USB port right here. That's for data transfer. You got a headphone jack, and this is where you're gonna plug it in to charge it up. All right, so pretty much straightforward, straight simple. Now, let me just give y'all a size comparison because maybe this video is not doing it justice. Let me put it next to a couple of tablets before we uh, actually plug it in and try it. Matter of fact, we'll turn the power on in the meantime. Now the only thing I don't like about this so far is the back doesn't get completely flat. So that's gonna be that's gonna be now you do have a carrying handle built into the top. And um yeah, five, about five pounds, easy to carry with one hand. You can hold it any any angle. But I I would have rather I would have rather the back went completely flat. So this way I could put it in a little bag or something. Alright, so we're gonna set this up in a minute. Let me give you a size comparison now. <laughs> Let me make sure I'm in focus behind the camera. Alright. Here's a typical 10 inch 10 inch tablet. Okay? Typical 10-inch tablet. Now here's your Galaxy Note 12. All right, the Note Pro 12. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the size difference. Now take something like 
iPad Pro. This was my biggest tablet. It's even way bigger than your iPad Pro. All right, so this thing is massive. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video real quick. Let me set it up. Let me put some of my information in it, and we'll go over the software real quick. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, I just put all my information in. I've been playing with this for a few minutes, and I got to say, I am absolutely loving this. I am definitely feeling this. This is so hot. Now, I know what you're going to say. You heard the specs for yourself. The specs ain't that great. Well, if you're buying this, you're not buying this as the latest and greatest top-of-the-line Android tablet. You're basically buying this as a portable media streaming, basically flat-screen TV. All right, even though it is a full-functional Android tablet. All right, so let's go through some of the UI real quick. Now, you do have your typical scroll down, get your notifications. You have a bunch of on-screen buttons. So, you got your home button. Now, this is your new home screen. All right, so this is your secondary screen. This is your home screen now. So, if you look at the home screen, you see I already added my Time Warner cable. You got Netflix, Hulu. You got uh, Premium Movies, Showtime, CBS, the History Channel, CNN for Samsung. You got Lifetime, uh, NBC Sports Extra. You got PBS for Kids. Watch ESPN, you got Crackle, AOL on, you got Google Play Movies and TV, and of course, YouTube, the one I probably use the most, YouTube and Amazon Prime, I'll probably use the most on this. Now, let's go back to the on-screen buttons, you got your back button, you have a Google Now button, so if you hit that, take you right to Google Now, look at this on-screen keyboard, a full-size keyboard with a full numbers, uh, number pad, this is crazy, All right, this is so crazy. Also, if you hit the next button, you got your TV button. So now, I didn't set this up yet, but you got DirecTV, or you could go to all of your media streaming services. You also have your recently used apps button. Okay, now that doubles as split screen multitasking. So if I hold down on that, I can open up Google Chrome on one side, and let's say uh, Google Music on the other side. So, and you have your typical Samsung controls, where you can make one bigger, make one smaller, switch them back and forth. Basic tablet functions. All right, this is hot. And now you have one more button. If you press that, that's going to take you to your photo sharing center, which I haven't played with yet. It's called Family Square. I haven't played with this yet. By the time I do the full review, I have the complete hang of it. But overall, though, it's a big, giant tablet. All right, that's basically, basically what it is, a big, giant tablet. Yo, <laughs> this is so sick. I had it in the bed just now while I was, you know, just wanted to see how it feels while I lay down in the bed with this. And this is hot. All right, this is hot. Now, if you're using it on the table, you can have it on just like this, and you can fully type. Let's pull up the keyboard real quick. Look at this keyboard. You can fully type on the keyboard and the number pad, and then just stand it back up whenever you're ready. Now, the only thing that would have made this, this the, the, if one thing was on this that would have took this to the next level, I would say if it had an HDMI port, that would have took this to the next level. Imagine, fellas, if you could just get an extra long HDMI cable connected to your PlayStation and have this right in the bed. That would have been so sick. But it does have micro USB for data transfer. So we got to figure out some way to uh, get the PlayStation to work on this. We, we, I, I'm pretty sure there's a way to do it, but um, I haven't figured it out just yet. But by the time I do this real review, we'll know all that good stuff. So far, this is hot, though. Let me pull up. Let's go to YouTube real quick. Give you all an idea how to sound how the sound on this is because this is crazy this is so crazy let's um let's look for a video okay let's get let, let's get that same killer instinct video we was playing yesterday let's see um ah uh, yeah why not we'll, we'll, we'll just run a quick killer instinct series so you can see how this looks and sounds all right, yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Flaws. All right, let's see. Come on, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna knock the Galaxy Note three. All That's right. still one of my favorite phones. This is one of my um, old Killer Instinct vlogs. As far as it go, I'm definitely looking forward into getting into the, to that joint. Soon All right, let's um. <laughs> now, um, let's, let's see, get into um, some Killer Instinct real quick though. Let's see what it is. All right, let's let's <laughs> let's pull up a different one. Let's see, um, ba -ba 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 -ba. okay, this one was hot too. Shout out to my man, Decoy. We, we, we was getting it in. All right, now look how this looks, though. And keep in mind, there's a handle on the back of this. So you can walk around the house with this. Walk around anywhere with this. Let's skip this ad. You can just walk around with this and chill, and you got yourself basically a portable flat-screen TV, portable media streaming device, and a portable tablet. 
Don't get too involved with all of the specs and the gigahertz and the processors and all of that. It looks insane. Now the speakers on this, the speakers sound great. Let's make, let's get maximum volume. All right, maximum volume. All right, let's, let's, let me, let, let's hit the lights real quick so you can see how this looks. Shout out to my man Deco. He tried to give me the business. <laughs> oh, got him. Ah. Scale. Yeah. Yeah. All right, D D Decoy was a savage in this game too. Shout out to my man Decoy. I was going for the setup, y'all seen it. This is so sick though. This is so hot. It's basically like having a big portable TV. Okay, look at them blocks. Them blocks on deck. Oh, uh, he caught me with that one though. He caught me with that. Uh. Oh, could have finished him. Okay. All right, let's go. I just want to wait and see if I won this one. I haven't watched these videos in so many years. Looks like I'm getting worked out right now. <laughs> I caught some of that work just now. Yeah. All right. All right, let's go. Okay, I'm still in there. Uh. Got him. Uh, let's go. Woo! Woo! <laughs> I'll be playing a video game, son. I'm getting hype right now. Oh, good shit, good shit. I like that. Yo, this is crazy, though. This is like a big TV. Okay, there it is. There it is. Danger. Let's go. Uh-oh. Okay, okay. All right, I'm sorry, fellas. I had to. I had to. I had to. All right, but y'all get the idea. Y'all get the idea. So, overall first impressions. Right out of the box, I know the price is a little bit steep because if you do the math, you could probably get a 18-inch flat-screen TV for about 500 especially now on Black Friday. Yeah, you could get a smart TV. But this is portable. This is completely portable. I got the handle on the back. Only two things so far that I'm going to say I don't like. I don't like the flat, uh, the fact that this doesn't go completely flat. That would have been nice. Or if you could have disconnected this piece right here, and it's just like, it just gets flat, so you could drop it in the bag. That would have been cool, but you could drop it in the bag like this too, and just have the top out. All right, so that's the only thing I don't like so far, and the fact that there's no uh, HDMI cable. That would have pushed it over the top, but initial impressions, this is hot. You do have your regular apps, like I could just go to Gmail, I could just, you know, use regular Gmail. Let's see what I got, what else I got installed so far. Now it's installing all my apps in the background. Let's see, um, do we got Instagram on here just yet? Not yet. Or do we? No Instagram just yet. All right, so I'm still downloading the rest of my apps. But by the time I do the full video, we'll check, uh, we'll check out all of the basic apps. Now, of course, they're not going to be optimized for 18 inch screen, but you know, looking at Instagram in the bed on the screen this big, fellas, do the math yourself. All right, it's going to be crazy. All right, so all in all, I gotta say, this is a win, this is a go. Now, now let me rephrase that. The price is a little savage. The price is a little savage. For $500, I would've felt a little bit more comfortable, but even for 600, that's not the, not, not the worst, not the worst. I can already see myself having more fun with this than my iPad Pro. Now, iPad Pro, of course, is gonna be, you know, all around better and more, you know, I'm gonna get more productivity out of it and just all around more usage, but this is just sick. This is just so sick. Fellas, it does have the micro SD card expandable memory. So what that means is if you if you like me and you you know you kind of cheap and you just want to get the Wi-Fi only version, get the Wi-Fi only version, get a micro SD card slot with a whole bunch of movies, and you can take this with you on the road. Imagine when you go to the park with the kids and all of that, and they riding their bikes and they you know doing whatever they do. 
Remember, you, you used to be sitting on the park bench with your little tablet or your phone and you're watching your little videos or whatever. Now you could bring this right to the park with you, set it up on the park bench while the kids is playing and all that. You, it's almost like you got a full-size TV right in the park. I have a micro SD card slot with all my Family Guy episodes and all my American Dad and Archer, all of these funny little cartoon shows that I watch. I have them all on micro SD cards. So I could take this with me and go right outside, you know, and chill. Imagine for the barbecues. If you're having a, bar a barbecue in your backyard and your Wi-Fi is still able to reach, now you can have this set up somewhere and you have all your videos on. This is, this is hot right here. This is so hot. All right, so when I do the full review, hit me up in the comments. Let me know if there's anything specific y'all want me to cover. Now, there's the little 2.1 megapixel camera on the front. Yeah, that'll be good for FaceTime and all that. But other than that, I don't really see no use for that. That's why I didn't even bother to put a camera on the back. Because who's going to actually be taking pictures with this thing? I mean, it don't make sense. It wouldn't make sense to have a camera on the back of this at all. All right, so let me know. Otherwise, the sound is good. The weight is good. It's a quality build on this. Doesn't feel cheap. This is hot right here. All right, this is hot. So hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. I'm having some fun with this tonight. Trust me. Shout out to everybody that rock with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rock with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the Amazon Warrior on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys alive. Yeah, I do got the Instagram on here already. All right, so you can see how it's going to look. It's just going to be a big-ass Instagram. <laughs> all right, so we, we're going to set up all this stuff. We're going to have a good time with this. Oh, yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss. I'm out. Deuces.